I suppose it had to happen. Quantum mechanics. Or to give it its full scientific name, quantum fricking mechanics. Now I hope Ben will believe me when I say that I am not a flower wearing patchouli oil monkey. That I don't go around dancing naked in the woods at night. The words Harry and Krishna only ever cross my lips when I'm smiling and that accuracy is important to me and it's because accuracy is important to me that I have to speak out over the issue of the twin slit experiment cartoon now I know what follows that cartoon uh, as you do Ben and I think we both agree that that is one big steaming cesspit of misleading statements one after the other an absolute crock of shit um, which no one should pay any attention to however that cartoon is a different matter I'm sure we've both had times when we've read something and we've had to reread it because we didn't believe it the first time. Well, when I read about the twin slit experiment, I think I read the page concerned not once or twice or three times, but about half a dozen times, maybe more. I didn't believe it the first time, the second time, the third time, or the fourth time. It, it just wore me down. I couldn't find a hole in it. And I suppose that's one of the reasons why I continue to buy books about quantum mechanics, layman's books about quantum mechanics, for quite a few years afterwards. Richard Feynman was probably second only to Einstein in terms of genius and he says to his students at the beginning of every course on quantum mechanics don't worry if you don't understand this because nobody does and I'm not sure it might have been Niels Bohr might have been, I'm not 100% sure, but certainly someone of that generation said anyone who thinks they understand, uh, anyone who isn't shocked by quantum mechanics hasn't understood it. So I think you'll have to accept that cartoon at face value and if it shocks you then you're probably closer to understanding quantum mechanics. The cartoon, as far as I understand quantum fricking mechanics, was entirely accurate. I know it's followed by a crock of shit. That's the problem with crocks of shit. They tend to incorporate something golden to, to somehow boost their value. Let's draw a line. At the end of the cartoon, the shit begins. Before the cartoon ends, I'm afraid that's science, or at least quantum mechanics quantum fricking mechanics um, this is my guide this 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 forms the backbone of my uh, knowledge on quantum mechanics and once I found the page great starting a video when you haven't actually got the page lined up isn't it once I actually find the page I just want to read a couple of bits not much, trust me, very very short. As I say, check out Richard Feynman and you should find out within a very short time that you're not reading about a run-of-the-mill scientist, you're reading about somebody special. 
and the basic element of quantum theory says Feynman on page one of the volume of his lectures devoted to quantum mechanics is the double slit experiment why because this is a phenomenon which is impossible absolutely impossible to explain in any, cl any classical way in reality it contains the only mystery the basic peculiarities of all quantum mechanics now you also added a comment to the uh, the cartoon video along the lines of um, prove to me the experiment has been done well you can prove to your own satisfaction fairly quickly that the twin slit is experiment so the, that the twin slit experiment was actually done and has been done thousands of times so you might have been referring to <coughs> that version which involved matter which involved electrons and here the, the, the relevant quote is the electron experiment hasn't quite been carried out in this way so the cartoon wasn't giving a, an accurate depiction of the actual experiment itself um, but equivalent experiments have been carried out by scattering beams of electrons from atoms in crystals so the, the cartoon was a, a simplification but not inaccurate some people think that the uh, the mechanics of the actual observation are in some way responsible for collapsing the wave function from the way I understand it that's not the case it's actually the observation which collapses the wave function can't help it that's what it says in all the books I read the paradox has probably got a great deal more to do with the fact that we expect the world to behave in a certain way because the world we see behaves in a certain way but down at the level it behaves out bloody well want and it doesn't have to conform to what we expect it to do so there's my explanation of the weirdness of it it's to anyone out there who's a tarot card reading self-delusional, psycho-babbling, fact-ignoring, pseudo-scientific, myth-munching, so open-minded that their brain falls out of their head, or a sensitive tree-hugging, crystal-healing, oh why, oh why can't I talk to my tomatoes? Paranormal monkey. Uh, and you doubt that the world is real. A little experiment. Punch yourself in the face. If that doesn't convince you, perhaps another experiment involving higher energies, um, i.e. punching yourself harder in the face, might help don't use quantum mechanics to justify the notion that if a tree falls in the woods and there's no one to hear it does it make a sound that is puerile bollocks to use uh, an English scientific term so to our Ben I, l I loved your video reply I really did the only reason I'm doing this is because of your text replies where you seem to doubt the validity of the twin slit experiment it is everything it cannot be ignored it is real and the cartoon was an accurate depiction of it if it makes your head hurt join the club uh, if you doubt my words you're connected to the internet uh, other than that love your stuff see you around dude glad you didn't put the screwdriver through your head <laughs>